Sigurd. I was chaplain and uh, director of pastoral care at Hillcrest Medical Center here in Tulsa for 46 years. I retired September 2019. Monday, March 1st marked the anniversary of the first confirmed case of COVID-19 in Oklahoma. A year ago this month, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic was considered to be a global pandemic. I and others have gathered this afternoon uh, with masks and social distancing in a, to express our gratitude and appreciation for you, for our community, doctors and nurses, support staff and personnel for being Tulsa's pandemic healthcare heroes. It has been suggested with the coronavirus that we have been at war with an invisible enemy. Like a military medical unit in wartime combat duty, many of you for over a year have been on the front lines and in the trenches face to face with COVID-19. You have seen and experienced the anxiety and anguish and sometimes the anger of isolated patients and their perplexed and restricted family and friends. And yet, day after day, you have been there with them when we could not be there with them. You have been with our loved ones. You have seen and heard their existential angst. You have helped them in their healing you have comforted in them in their final moments. Thank you for your remarkable COVID-19 service and commitment. A way above and beyond the call of duty. You are our pandemic heroes. You are our amazing angels. May God watch over you and your families your children, your loved ones, keep you safe and healthy each and every day in each and every area of your life. May God strengthen your inner being by the presence of His Spirit this day and every day. May God fill you up when you feel empty and may God lift you up when you feel weary. My name is David Emery. I'm lead pastor at Harvard Avenue Christian Church. I don't represent the whole faith community, but I do represent this faith community. And on behalf of our church family, we want to say thank you for the way that you've shown care and love to us during this last year. For all you nurses and health care providers who have just been there for us, we are so grateful for you. We are thankful for you. We are praying for you. And we're praying God's blessings upon you and your family. Thank you for all that you've done. I've always felt that healthcare workers were saints with a little S. Well, that S has gotten a lot larger in the last 12 months. You guys are super men, super women. Thank you for your courage, compassion, and care. God bless. Okay, just want to thank all of our healthcare workers for all the time and effort. And your, uh, you guys are phenomenal. Just really appreciate everything you have done for, uh, for the community and for all of us. Thanks a bunch. Appreciate it. Thank you. They call people heroes when they do heroic acts, and they call people heroes when they live heroic lives. You guys qualify on both those. Things. Thank you. Our band. Our band is playing in appreciation for all that you have done for us and caring for us during this time. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Hi, I'm Piper Bain, and I'm here to say thank you to all the healthcare workers on November 23rd. My dad actually passed away from COVID, and after being in the hospital for many weeks, and I was able to actually go up and see him and see exactly what the nurses go through on a daily basis up there. It's
it's a lot that they went through and my dad was there when COVID was at its very highest and they would sit with him and hold his hand and just talk to him because we weren't able to be there. They would hold up iPads for us when we did want to send him messages. One nurse in particular, Jessica, was just a lifesaver to us and she went above and beyond for my dad and for all of her patients. And if you could go up there and see what it was like, it would break your heart. And I hope that people will continue to take COVID serious until we are fully vaccinated as a country and wear your mask and do the right thing because it's real. And these healthcare workers have put their lives on the line and what they go through is far above and beyond anything anyone can imagine. So again, thank you, and especially to Jessica. To all you healthcare workers, there are just no words to thank you. You're the best, you've sacrificed, you've, uh, you've just gone above and beyond, and we just can't thank you enough. To our healthcare workers and medical professionals, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't know what all you do, we don't know how stressful it is. We are truly grateful. You are appreciated and loved. Thank you for all you do.